Hey, what's up, everybody? Good morning. Welcome to or welcome back to Figs Outside. So, uh, I just thank you for watching this. Um, so, tomorrow is our um, day that we get to open um, to use mojos, or it's open to using mojos, um, spinning wing decoys. That's um, one really good thing um, here in California. I'm, yeah, it's, it's, it's call me Cali, but we're up here in the far northern western corner um we're, we're real close to oregon so uh that is one thing that's pretty awesome um that we got to do that we get to use is is the mojos that we um pretty awesome the spinning wing decoys and, and it's uh electronic and battery powered uh, we're not limited to just wind powered or um like a jerk cord or a pull string like some of the mojos they got a band in them and you pull the pull the cord and it makes the wings spin back and forth so we're, we're pretty fortunate to be able to do that. And so um, I order, I've, I've got several of the uh, mojos, the um, ones that go on a pole in the water, um, but uh, sometimes it's just kind of a pain. Sometimes the water gets a little deep and I don't feel like packing around or a five or a six or an eight foot pole um, to do that. So uh, anyway, I kind of got something cool. It's the um, Higdon Outdoors, the uh, floating flasher. So uh, we're gonna do a little unboxing and a little review on that. So here we go. All right, guys, so here it is, the Higdon Outdoors, um, or Higdon, Floating Flasher XS, the item number 53072, official licensed product, Ducks Unlimited, XS technology, uh, compact, fully integrated design, quick charge, quick charging, internal lithium ion battery, stable and shallow in deep water, durable, powerful, and lightweight. And that is the list of stuff that is included including the 12 volt lithium ion battery uh quick charging port 10 hour runtime fast charging time of three hours unit can hold optional second battery um, to double the runtime that's really sweet that it can hold it uh, when i went to go order the second battery they were back ordered so i didn't get it uh, remote receivable receiver compatible water resistant switch includes anti-flip ballast weight which is really nice for when it's super windy or you got rough water um, removable wing weights allow the white side of the wings to always face down while spinning or while not spinning excuse me quick connect wing attachment official license product ducks unlimited percentage of your purchase will go toward ducks unlimited to help with their efforts for wetland conservation so anyway let's get this uh this one away Once again, while we're doing this, I just thank you for your time watching this video. Oh, styrofoam. I hate styrofoam. But, hey, you know what? Whatever. So, here's the instructions. Tells you what it comes with. The toggle switch. So, this is the one that's... This is not the um, floating flasher splasher. The splasher has a, uh, as you can see right there, F. It's a bilge pump and um, it actually sprays water up onto the wings and it kind of flicks the water around so you get more flash. But uh, here's this piece right here. These are the wing weights that it was talking about. Um, and so those will always face down, um, which is really nice. So if your battery dies or you turn the remote on or off, um, when it's off, the um, printed side of the wings will be up while the white side's down so you don't flare birds. Um, here's the wiring on it it's got two uh, i wonder what that one the blue one's for maybe that's for the second battery um i don't know i have to i'll have to look that up but anyway it looks like it's for the main battery <coughs> and we got the charger it's got a nice little led indicator tells you whether it's charged or not charged and and then we got the quick charge piece oh so that's what that is Maybe not. Yeah, that hooks onto this part. So anyway, this is actually so you can charge it right here. It's got a nice water resistant plug. It'll plug in there so you don't have to remove it from the base. You can just charge it um, while it's still on the base. That's pretty sweet. I like that. And oh, get that foam out of there. I hate the starter. All right, so this is the, um, the ballast weight that I was talking about. Um, yeah, the anti-foot ballast weight. So that's pretty slick. 
Nice. Oh, geez, I can't talk. Sorry, guys. Anyway, so that's about. <laughs> looks like a nice little, nice little meat mallet. Um, it's probably a good two pounds. I want to say maybe, maybe two and a half is what it feels like. Um, so anyway, that's where it connects at. So you can see it's um, got a, a twenty by half inch adapter, um, male fitting. It screws right in there just like so. So that way when you have your decoy out in rough water, which there's a lot of times I'm hunting in, um, where we're at um, in this area, it, we get some really nasty winds a lot of times during duck season. I mean, it gets, it gets really nasty. It gets blowing 25, 30 miles an hour easily. We get a lot of white caps on the lake, a lot of good swells, and that ballast weight's gonna keep this thing floating upright. We've had a, some of the other brands um, my buddy has. Um, this is my first, my first floating uh, motion decoy. The other brand that my buddy has, um, another big brand, anyway, um, we've had that thing flip over quite a few times and have to paddle out there really quick to get it to flip back over. Um, we actually had it one time where it actually disconnected because it flipped over um, and it sank. Yeah, yeah it was bad. Um, he didn't have the battery hooked in there um, with the strap. So it, we had to fish around in the bottom of the, bottom of the lake for it. Um, it was almost over the waders but we ended up finding it. Um, so that's pretty sweet. This is really gonna help out for keeping that thing riding upright. Um, so anyway, let's get that taken apart. Nice uh, anti-glare paint, nice matte finish paint. Same with on the, <laughs> same with on the base, that's kind of funny. It's got the, the feet molded into the um, the base there. Nice, nice decent paint job of the main, anti glare, a nice matte finish. Um, so that's where the bilge pump will hook onto. Um, that's where the keep, that's the keeper. So that's where you're gonna hook your line to keep this thing where it needs to be. Um, so these are the batteries. It's a nice 12 volt battery, lithium ion. Oh, they're rubber banded together. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, rubber banded together. That's the holder for the other battery, the, re the replaceable, or the <laughs> replaceable, the spare battery, my goodness. Um, so that's kind of nice. It fits in this nice little base um, compartment right here. We can stay together. So that's pretty sweet. Let's see. Hold on there. Um, oh, hold on one second. Oh, left the wings in the box. So anyway, these are the wings. So a nice print on them. Nice detailed paint. Right on the other side. So anyway, let's uh, let's put this thing together really quick. Um, so first, well, real quick, so it's got these little dimples on the sides right here. Um, kind of see it right there. Uh, that's going to lock into the base, and it's a twist lock design. Um, and you can see the dimples right there. So let's, uh, let's actually hook this up. And maybe we'll turn them wings on and see how it, hopefully there's a little bit of charge in this battery. There should be. So put those dimples down. Hey, it's got a charge in the battery. So there it is. So these on the wings, uh, okay, so it's got a little spring that sits inside there um, and it just lifts up on that, that bolt right there. It's got a little spring. So let's, uh, yep, this side. So there's the wing. Um, it'd be nice if they were magnetic, but they're not. It's got a little, little notch cut out for where that little keeper sits. Oh yeah, it locks in there pretty good. Even that, so that's that's always good. You feel it lock in there nice and tight. Oh yeah. Yeah, we've, we've had it get so windy out there, it, it just locks up the wings on the decoys even. So anyway, as you can see, with those wing weights on the bottom, it just rotates those wings back over. That's really nice. Um, so you're not having this thing sitting up there like this, looking completely fake and screaming, get away from me. It'll just rotate them and keep that, that down. So. so anyway, gets a nice flash going on there. Digging that. Spins pretty quick. And it's actually quiet. We've had some that make a lot of rattle they make like a slight rattle sounds this is pretty quiet there's a little bit of um, bobble to this thing 
I'm kind of wondering if they do that um, while the weights are going to do that a little bit. So it probably sends out a nice ripple. That's what I'm imagining. Um, if you watch, I'm going to try to make a video of it tomorrow. We're supposed to go out in the morning. It'll be day two um, of our, our duck hunting. Um, duck season has been going on for about a month now. I usually wait till the end of November to start hunting. We get a little, little more uh, birds down, get quite a few more migrators. So anyway, that is the Higdon Floating Flasher XS. Take these ones out. Take this apart and put a little charge on that battery. And so with this battery, um, what I know is don't try to pull it apart. Um, you guys can see this really quick. Um, I don't know if the light's good enough. Let's uh, bring it over here where there's a little more light. So right here on this clip, it's got these two ears that you need to pinch right here on the duck on the on the on the duck side, and then it's got a little thumb release right there on the base side. So if you just try to pull this apart, um, you don't notice that, and you're you're gonna break it. So you just pinch those, and it comes apart pretty easy. Um, so anyway, that's that. Pull it all apart, and now I can get a good charge on her uh, for the morning. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to use this thing. It should be really awesome. I've been wanting to get one of these because uh, some of the areas we hunt, you know, I don't feel like set this up a little more. I don't really feel like ooh, geez, uh, carrying around, you know, a six foot, seven foot, eight foot pole um, for the standard spinning wing decoy. And so this is going to make it a lot more efficient, a lot more easy to use um, this, this Higdon uh, floating decoy. So it could be, you know, anywhere from a foot of water to eight feet of water, 10 feet of water if I'm hunting canvas backs, uh, sometimes 12 feet of water, you know. Um, and we could just drop this in there and uh, not have to worry about carrying a crazy long mojo pole or something weird. Um, so anyway, there it is. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you can, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate it. That just kind of keeps me going. I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. I'm not getting paid or nothing. Um, I, I buy all these products. Everything that you see on my on my channel, it's all on my own dime, my own personal dime um, from working uh, extra side jobs or whatever, um, or overtime. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's, it's all my personal money. So that just kind of keeps me going, keeps me a little more motivated to keep making videos. It's They're kind of fun. I'm doing it anyway, so why not make a video, you know? And it just, yeah, helps out and helps me out. And, the kids appreciate it too because they like seeing it. And anyway, so thanks for watching. That is the Higdon. Excess uh, floating flash. So we'll chat to you guys uh, hopefully tomorrow. We'll see you. Bye.